like weed, but I used to love heroin. <laughs> Anybody else ever do heroin before? <laughs> just me? Cool. It's always just me. I heard you guys all laugh hysterically when you made that fake junkie joke that, you know, the junkie in the joke that was dying. You were all like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> Seriously, no one's ever done heroin before? <laughs> awesome. That's fine. It'd be weird if it was all of you. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done it in like 12 years. Uh, you don't have to clap for that. Uh, not doing heroin is actually what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like you're actually supposed to be a lot longer than 12 years clean from heroin. Like however old you are, <laughs> that's how many years clean from heroin you're supposed to be. Like, dude, how, how old are you? 24. 24, have you ever done heroin? Yeah. Right on track, dude. <laughs> awesome, you're fucking killing it, dude. That's great. I just hate when like white girls compare basic stuff to being like heroin or like other hard drugs because I've shot up before and it's nothing like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> Heroin's way better than coffee. I don't know if you guys knew that. Like I never shot up and was like, hey, let's go to brunch right now. <laughs> Sounds awesome. One of the worst things I ever did on heroin was have sex with a girl named Bobby Joe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She gets it. Don't fuck girls with two guys' first names. <laughs> like, I could have went for like a Kellyanne or a Betty Sue, but no, nope, they don't do heroin. Only Bobby Joes do heroin. <laughs> Bobby with an I, too. That's fucking that's disgusting. And like, I couldn't even abbreviate her name BJ. That just made it, <laughs> made it worse. And like, BJ was also what she did to get more heroin. So. You can laugh. She's probably dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hope she's dead. She stole my PlayStation 2. <laughs> she kind of fucking deserves it. But yeah, some of the people are, is he going to talk about heroin the whole time? I don't know. Maybe I will. Because uh, I fucking love it so much. Anybody else? Do you have any heroin? Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I watch Intervention for the Memories sometimes. Uh, you know. Um, but yeah, so like some of the people I used to do it with, they would mix it with their own spit at the gas station or like toilet water to shoot up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's so much effort. It's, it's <laughs> disgusting. I used to mix it with Fiji water because I'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> Thank you. Clap for that. Yeah. I think that's where I why my addiction costed so much because I was buying three dollar bottles of water every day. <laughs> to shoot up. Dasani, you can't shoot up with Dasani water. That's tap water. You gotta go with the fucking the best one. Fiji, dude. Anyway, um, Thank you for the suggestion. If I ever <laughs> do decide to shoot heroin again, I won't use the song. Uh, but yeah, um, I hooked up with a squirter once. Has anybody ever been with one of these monsters? Uh, yeah, this, this guy in the front. Saying you fucked a squirter is just a cooler way of saying a girl pissed in your bed. That's <laughs> all it is. Yeah, and it's like they, it's a lot cooler in the movies. You know, they get to they get to go home from that apartment they pissed all over. Like. And they, did she warn you? No. No, dude. They never fucking <laughs> warned you, dude. Like, I just met you on an app three hours ago. I wasn't <laughs> planning on washing my sheets at 3 a.m., but here we are. And it's my fault. I'm, I'm an adult. I should have two sets of sheets by now. <laughs> you an extra set of sheets? Just one set? Yeah, dude. You fucked up, dude. Go to fucking Target and get a set of sheets. It's like $20. Uh, also, I think if, if they're hot, it's squirt, and if they're ugly, it's piss. <laughs> yeah, this girl was definitely piss. <laughs> for sure. She was also Mexican, so hot sauce came out of her pussy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke, actually. Hot sauce did not come out of her pussy. Uh, she was Mexican, though, so after we were finished, she said, You got good dick, bro! <laughs> Fuck, dude, did I just fuck a homie's doll? <laughs> That's how she started it, too. She was like, with a little click, fuck your dick, bro. Like, on paper, that's a compliment. The way she said it sounded like a threat. About to fucking stab me or what? And she, like, lunged at me, too, when she said, you fuck your dick, bro. Like, fuck, dude. Get the fuck out of my apartment and go back and some sheets at Target. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, I stopped using dating apps like a few years ago though, because one time I met this Asian girl. Uh, we, had, we ended up having sex. Uh, and she told me to come inside of her. She can't get pregnant. And I fell for that. Yeah, ooh, the classic mistake. <laughs> Uh, but she like she also couldn't come, so either I got the two mixed up, or I, she either got the two mixed up, or I just heard her wrong. I don't know. I fucked that joke up. It's fine. What I'm trying to say is we swipe left on the baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, she actually wanted to have an abortion. It was her idea. Um, yeah, we did go have an abortion because uh, Asians were smart. She was like, "Let's go get rid of this," and I was like, "Okay, cool." Um, and I lived in LA for like seven years, and that was the first time that I had Korean takeout. So, <laughs> yeah, a couple of grams in the back. That's fine if you didn't like that joke. Um, but I paid two hundred fifty dollars for that joke, and I'm gonna do it. Let's half the amount because she was cool. You get it. <laughs> what else? I'm, I, I have a girlfriend now. She's pretty sweet. Um, I can help you clap for that. Ooh, he's, getting, he's getting pussy now. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Not her, she's probably dead. <laughs> uh, but it's not my girlfriend. Um, but yeah, but one time me and my girlfriend were having sex and she told me to slap her. Uh, apparently, you're not supposed to cock your hand all the way. Really fast. And she fucking flinched. And, and I came so hard because, <laughs> because her pussy tightened up. Because she, was scared. Uh, it's kind of when they're scared. Did you know that? Say like, thank you, PTSD. That was awesome. Uh, it should be called. It should be called PTDS. Pussy tightens during sex. Uh, cool. A couple more groans. That's fine. If you didn't like that joke, uh, I put that joke on Instagram though. Like seventy thousand Middle Eastern men liked it. So. Yeah. What else? Oh, I'll, I'll let you know this about me. I come past. Too? You too? Awesome. Uh, it's like, you know you come fast when you're about to come, and instead of saying, I'm going to come, you say, I'm sorry. <laughs> you too? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know that baby wipes make the best cum racks, though? Yeah, I just wanted to get that off my girlfriend's chest. <laughs> it's also kind of ironic to wipe off cum with a baby wipe, because sometimes there's a baby on the package. <laughs> It's like, hey, that could have been you, but <laughs> nope. yeah. else? Uh, when I was like 12 years old, my racist grandfather died of lung cancer. Yeah, he smoked, yeah, he, he smoked a carton of Camel non-filter cigarettes every day for like 30 years. Uh, yeah, Jesus is right. He, uh, he loved smoking, but he would have hated that he died with black lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Like if he was alive, he'd be like, get them black lungs out of there. <laughs> <laughs> One time I heard him say, go back to your country. It's like, that used to be racist, Grandpa, but now it's just good advice. Like, let's all go back to our country. That sounds awesome. Like if someone was like, hey, greasy Italian, go back to Italy, I'd be like, let's go. That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, my grandfather was also a veteran. He was in Squid Game, but he called it the Korean War. <laughs> my mom hates that joke. It was very bad. She was like, he wasn't racist. They all talked like that back then. It's like, yeah, mom, they were all racist. <laughs> my mom doesn't think she's racist because she has one black friend. But she calls her my black friend, Anne. It's like, <laughs> you mean Anne, Mom? The other way kind of sounds like you own her. Like, chill, <laughs> chill, chill the fuck out. The fact that she's black never has anything to do with the story. It's never like, oh, I went to a little Wayne concert, smoked a bunch of blunts with my black friend, Anne. It's like, no, you guys just went to Applebee's and had lunch. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that joke's losing steam. Move on. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you know this before I go out here. Um, I was a big Eminem fan in high school. Thank you, three old people. Uh, one of my favorite lines on Eminem's second album, the Marshall Mathers LP, he says, I take seven kids from Columbine, stand them all in line, add an AK-40. Let me say it, dude. Don't fucking say it for me. You fucking kidding me? 
Take seven kids from Columbine, stand them all in line, add an AK-47, a revolver, a nine, and I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna rap it, I'm gonna slow it, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Back in 11, then, and I saw the problem line, that's a whole school of bullies shot up all at one time. I thought that was such a sick verse in high school that I doodled it on the back of an English quiz <laughs> <laughs> and turned it in. Um, yeah, but without the beat, it's just a death threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks guys, I'm Mario Conti. You guys are <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.